Hi, my name is Marco. Today I will be talking about a problem that I think is overlooked in our community, but it's not just in our community, it's the entire world. I will be talking about air pollution. The certain type of air pollution I will be talking about are greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases are certain gases in the atmosphere that trap energy from the sun. For example, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, methane, and water vapor. Without these gases, heat would escape back into space and Earth's average temperature would be about 60 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. You might be asking how this is a problem, but this is how it should be. But because of using fossil fuels in cars and planes and coal in factories and stuff like that, this makes more greenhouse gases than there needs to be, which causes global warming, which heats up the planet and is melting ice caps. These are examples of air pollution. In factories, they're using coal and it makes the smoke and the cars use fossil fuels and you can see the smoke coming from the exhaust from the car. Global warming is melting the ice caps like this polar bear's home. This was probably once its home, but now it is completely melted and is hanging on to it. Another problem is using a lot of gas power things, which helps global warming become worse and worse. It creates heat by burning fuels, which isn't good for the environment. A way we could help this is we could not use cars as much. We could use bikes and buses. The reason buses are really good is instead of using cars, which are there's so many for so many different people, a lot of people could get into one bus and they could get to different areas. It could be a little bit longer, but it would help the environment a whole lot. And bikes, it produces no, it doesn't burn any fossil fuels, and it's just really good for the environment. And factories could try not to use as many fossil fuels. We could also try to not use as many airplanes because they cause more pollution than any other vehicle, which can damage the environment severely. You can also conserve energy. Remember to turn off lights, computers, and electric appliances. Turning off computers and lights may be very hard, because you might be playing a video game and something new might come out. But in the meantime, you could just turn it off and maybe do something else. And when you're not using your lights, for example, when you're not in your room and you're going to eat, make sure you leave your lights off. Electric appliances. Your parents could turn off stoves or stuff when they're not using it. Stoves would be very important to turn off, one, because it could start a fire, and two, it's not good for the environment because it's burning fuels. Use energy efficient light bulbs and appliances. You could ask your parents to buy some of those. So I'm pretty sure your parents would invest a little bit of money in helping the uh, air, air. Participate in your local utilities and energy conservation programs. That means going to programs that could help the environment. For example, Duke Energy has a few. Limit driving by carpooling using public transportation, buses, biking, and walking. Carpooling means you go ride somewhere with a friend. For example, if you have a neighbor that goes to the same school or you guys want to go to the same place, you could ride in the same car. And instead of using two cars, you could only use one, which would help the environment. And you could tell your parents to combine errands for fewer trips. You don't have to travel that much. Use electric or hand power lawn care equipment. That means don't use all mowers that have gas. You have to pour gas in them or tractors. Run dishwashers and clothes washers only when full. For example, if you went to swim and you had one bathing suit to put it in the washer, you instead of just putting it in there and starting it, you could wait till the day is done and then when all your clothes is dirty, you can then wash it. Some facts about air pollution. The first fact is an average American breathes two gallons of air per minute which means around 3,400 gallons of air each day. This isn't a problem, but when you inhale air pollution, it takes away at least one to two years of a typical human life. And if we carry on polluting the environment as much as we do, in about 50 years, we could be not living as long lives. Fact number three, it has effects as small as burning eyes and itchy throat, and that's still pretty bad, but it can go as large as breathing problems and death. Number four, pollutants that are released into the air as opposed to land and water pollutants are the most harmful. So that means when you put stuff in the air, it's more harmful than when you put stuff on the land and in the water. 
Fact number five. Rising levels of air pollution in Beijing has brought a new disease, Beijing cough. And this could not not just the not the Beijing cough, but we could create other diseases. For example, the American cough. Maybe we can make that and that would really not be good for us. Number six. Air pollution is not a recent occurrence. You might think maybe it started in in late earliest nineteen nineties. But no, in nineteen fifty two, almost sixty years ago, the Great Smog of London killed eight thousand people. Deaths caused by air pollution cost the European Union 161 billion euros. 8. Electric vehicles produce less air pollutants. They stir up dirt, but without producing gases. And you might think, I can't afford those electric cars, for example, like Tesla's. But they made a new mini car where oh, I'm pretty sure all of us can afford. So you can try and buy that. The reasons I talked about this today is because I was interested in air pollution because it's a problem and I want to learn how to solve it and teach other people how they can solve it because a brick problem that I don't know how to solve makes me want to learn how to solve it so now I know how so I can solve it and another reason is because it is a, an overlooked problem which is a problem in itself because if a big problem like this is overlooked that could affect all of us in a really big way and something that we didn't try to solve and I want to help solve it.